Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here. We're here with Jordan Hampton. And what did you just do today? Uh, I should have gotten second at the regional all final pairing. So yeah, all we're waiting on is final standings, but you lost in the finals, correct? Yes. I was undefeated going into the finals. Alright, and what did you play today? Uh, Zodiac Inferno with 40 card. 40 card? Yeah. Alright, well let's get into this. Okay, so standard right, uh, the Zodiac stuff, just three rat, two whip tail. Uh, you can't run less than this because this lets you grind more in the game and gives you another way to combo off like the following turns. So then obvious, tear top, no explanation. And since I'm running 40 cards, uh, my Infernoid list is a lot smaller. Three Decatron, the best one. Uh, two Harmadic, um, can make Omega with bad hands, uh, stuff like that. One Petrulia is good, but it's like the worst one to draw. Harmadic's always the better one to draw. Two Sightsmiths, the better of the middle ones. Uh, Sajet, <laughs> we were never drawn Sajet. <laughs> The games that I drew, I did lose, and um, but you have to run it for the Void Feast. Uh, Atondal, he is, oh my god, I didn't summon him one time, I banished him every time, he is terrible. I would probably find a way to take him out, and then the two big ones. Um, two Nunko, two Debiati. Alright. And then the obligatory, two Maxi. Alright. Um, spells, uh, three Zidiac Garage, obligatory, um, three Banishment, pretty standard yeah. and the card that I ran more of than most people did uh, was three void imagination because going second this was my alternative to a uh, board wipe like instead of a geki um, this is my, like my answer to like zodiac boards so if I can like bait the dryden and then like uh, summon this I have so much advantage that once I finally clear, clear the Fiera's game like there's no way that zodiac can win so um, I did side it out, um, games two and three a lot, but um, and then the one, one for one. Fourth we, Decatron. <laughs> yeah, fourth Decatron. <laughs> and then for traps, uh, 3D Barrier. Won me so many games, I can't even begin to count. I mean, it's an amazing card, everybody knows what it does. Right. And then two Void Feast. This is your best card in your deck, but it is a garnet if you draw it by itself. So, um, I actually... In Atlanta, I was running three of this, but I cut it, uh, one of them for the one for one, and it worked out a lot better. I didn't see it nearly as much dead today, and um, it hardly ever clung, so it was a very good ratio. And so that's you, it for the main. You said it was a 40 card main? Yes, yes. And you feel 40 card is superior to 60? I thought it was superior in my personal testing. Uh, I tested a lot with the 60 card in, like on Yu Gi Oh! Pro for like three weeks, about a month actually, thinking that's what I was going to play for the upcoming events, and um, then one of my friends, uh, see me the 40 card list that recently topped I think it was in Atlanta like at a regional or something like that and I tested it out a lot and it was just so much more consistent like resolving the void feast was just like so, like worth it because I was drawing the kaijus going first was just not ideal so I, right. I like the 40 card alright so let's go to side and extra okay side side could use some work but um two gimme seal mainly for the win witch deck like the artifact invoke whatever it is uh because I don't have an out to Crystal Wing, so this is basically my only thing. But I saw it only once today, so I guess it worked out. 2 DD Crow for Paleo, because I figured after uh, Roka topping or well, winning Atlanta with it, I, I see a lot more. I actually didn't play any Paleo today, surprisingly. All right. But um, it's a good card for Paleo, Infernoid, and the Infernoid Zoo, the mirror match. And then Lancia, I'm iffy on this card, but it did win me a game. So, I mean, I know that's like not a way to base off how good a card is, but. Um, the only problem I have with this is if they milled snow, then it's like it really did nothing for me except for like pause them for a turn because the snow is going to interrupt my plays anyways. Which that deck, that's what I lost to in the finals. That deck's really hard to beat when it uh, goes off. Then best cards of my deck, three twister. Um, for <laughs> just it came in like every game. Like going first, I didn't decide to do, but going second about everything it came in. It was clutch. I mean, it's amazing. Uh, then the board wipes. I like not to do the kaiju engine. I just didn't have the room, and with a 40 card deck, um, so many combo pieces, there's no way I could side out uh, the way I wanted to with a Kaiju engine. So I just didn't have the room. So these these were these were phenomenal. So I had no complaints. And then the card for the Metal Flow deck, the Mirror Match going first, basically anything, just about anything going first. This was a, an amazing card. It won me two games, I think, and um, basically. If you have a dry, you can deal with whatever they try to do. Um, 
with their normal summon and they can't really do anything outside of a normal summon unless they have terror top. And also if you void feast, you can protect it from like twin twist or stuff like that, so it's just an amazing card. So Right, right. Alright, so extra deck and two dry dent. Two bull, two mortar and one borbo. I run a bigger uh Zodiac engine the most uh variants that I've seen. Uh, simply because like after the first turn if I do the Zodiac combo this gives me a follow-up play and like usually I'll end with like I'll, I'll do the first Zodiac combo in with Digusto instead of this and then like go in second I'll summon a whip tail or just attach like uh, overlay on a dry it attach the rat do the play that way and then in with like one of these two so this one usually going first and these are for uh, and I never summon this, but these two mainly, this one put in a lot of work. This is like your follow-up zoo play. Or in some cases, like my round six, uh, I mean, just go straight for the kill, LTK, right. first turn, so. And then for the level threes, Invoker, Totem Bird, super standard. Then for the uh, Fusion, Tierra, she's a, she's bad, no. but you have to play her to resolve the Fusion and um, to threaten with the Fusion. And I, usually when I uh, summon her, I hardly ever use the effect because um, just, it's usually pointless for me and I don't have the resources. Like if I mill two rats, then I lose the game. So Right. So most of the time you're resolving this before you do the rat play. So All right. That and then the Warren Omega, you send it off the uh, uh, spell for the fusion. And also in one of my matches, uh, the Yosinju, when you get lose one turn, that's a pretty good card to summon. So, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alright, so that's your entire list. Anything you might change about the list or anything like that? Or did it work um, well for you? I don't have any complaints with the list. I'd work with some side, uh, like the DD Crows and the Artifact Lancias. I'd test, test some other stuff a bit. Um, have no complaints. The anti spells were amazing. Uh, the, everything else was amazing. The main deck worked like a charm. I mean, the, the worst part about the deck is it loses the Maxi worse than like, the pure bar variant wood of Zoo. So that's the only point. All right. All right. Well, congrats on your top finish, and thanks for the deck profile. Thank you.